Amazon and this video I'm going to show you guys how to use NetSurf on ClearBOS. So NetSurf is basically a simple and easy to use web browser that is basically pre-installed on ClearBOS. Okay, let's get started right now. So to open up the software, just go onto the desktop and click onto NetSurf. Once I've done that, we should see an interface like this. By default, it will take you to bot.clipbos.org website. This is where you'll be able to go to the wiki, go to bugs, so you can find out what bugs there are, and some builds, so basically what updates they have done to the system, and so on. From here, you'll be able to interact with this website as if you're on any other web browser. So for example, we can use a keyboard to type down some text, and use a mouse to basically click onto buttons. As you guys will see, there's two scroll bars. This scroll bar will allow you to scroll down the website, as you guys can see, and we can scroll up. And this scroll bar, which is rarely used nowadays, allows you to scroll to the left and to the right. So that's quite useful if we truly need to use this. Okay, so now over here is basically the navigation bar. So I'm going to go through how to actually go back to a previous page and how to go to the next one. So if I click onto, I forgot my password for example, I can click onto this link and it should take me to I forgot my password um, website. As you guys can see, it takes me to reset password. If I want to go back to the login page, then what I need to do is to click onto this button over here and this button will allow me to go back to the login page. But if I want to go back to the reset page, just click on this hour and this will just take you back to the reset password website. So that is quite useful if you actually need to go back to a previous page because you misread something or that you basically just accidentally click onto this um, icon. So you want to go back to reset password so that way you can reset the password. Isn't this wonderful? Now this button, what this button allows you to do is allows you to refresh the page. So if I click onto it, we should see this loading animation. This animation means that it's loading, as you guys can see. Now we're wondering what does this big X button does. What this big X button does is that it will cancel the website from loading. If it takes a little bit, um, a long time for it to load, then this might be useful to cancel it. Okay, now I'm going to be showing you guys how to visit another website. So go to this text box where you see the URL and now basically delete all of that until when you do get to HTTP. Okay, so once I've deleted all that, now what I will do, I'm going to go and visit the old net website as that website is basically very um, easy to visit. Now click, that will just type down the URL so we bring the old net dot com and now press on the enter key and now it should take you to we bring the old net website as you guys can see oh, wait. <music> dot com. so i got the url wrong but as you guys can see i am now on the old net website and i'll be able to interact with it by clicking onto these links so that's how you guys will be able to basically visit other websites is by using this text box and entering another URL. So anyway guys, if you liked this video, please put a like and please subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.